Welcome to another Tesla update video. Today's video includes the Model Y selling out once more, Tesla expanding their supercharger network, and a new sighting of the well-awaited Tesla Cybertruck. First, we will talk about the supercharger update. Tesla is currently in the process of allowing other EVs to use their supercharger network. This will be very beneficial for the future of electric vehicles, as dependable charging infrastructure is essential for electrification. Tesla has been discussing the expansion of their network in North America for some time, and we recently learned a bit about how they intend to do so. They will apparently implement a magic dock that releases a standard Tesla plug when charging a Tesla and a CCS adapter when charging a non-Tesla vehicle. This is intriguing but unknown in North America. In Europe, Tesla has opened up 50% of its charging stations to other EVs. Australia is the most recent addition to this list of 15 European countries where they are currently present. The Tesla Charging Twitter account tweeted, Select superchargers in Australia are now accessible to all electric vehicles. All of this, which began with five stations in South Wales, remain a part of their pilot program. They must manage congestion and observe how other electric vehicles handle superchargers. The list of countries has become quite lengthy, and I expect Tesla to take a similar approach in the United States, all, by, all state by state. Currently, when deciding between a Tesla and another EV, charging infrastructure is one of the primary reasons you may not want anything other than a Tesla. However, this may change in the near future. Through 2023, we'll hear a great deal more about this topic. Next, Tesla tweeted today about two significant vehicle milestones. The celebration begins with the delivery of the first Tesla Roadster 15 years ago today. This was a monumental achievement for them and it demonstrates how far they've come. The Roadster, based on the Lotus, was the first vehicle and their first expensive EV, propelling their future vehicle efforts forward. Tesla posted their original blog post from January 6, 2008 detailing the excitement of their first ever delivered vehicle. From there, the Model S, Model Y, and Model 3 are now all the most popular electric vehicles to date. Soon, they should have the Cybertruck, and possibly within the next 15 years, Tesla will be able to ship the second generation Roadster. They have accomplished a ton within the last 15 years and have managed to force a lot of the vehicle industry to go electric. Norway has just set a new record for the Model S and a winter test through Norway's snow. The Model S drove further than any other electric vehicle, 530 kilometers on a charger, surpassing the previous record held by the Tesla Model 3 at 525 kilometers. On their chart, we can see a number of EVs, and the most important number here is their percentage of deviation from their quoted range. Not only was the Model S the only vehicle to surpass 450 and 500 kilometers, but its deviation deviation of 16.4% was also the lowest. This is particularly impressive given that they are considering the WLTP range, which is known to be quite generous. The Model X Plaid's deviation was 18.23, which was another impressive figure. Teslas perform exceptionally well in the cold, but so do a number of other electric vehicles, which is also encouraging to see. Some appreciate the VWID and buzz as it does see a decrease of up to 35%, similar to the Toyota BZ4X. A new Cybertruck prototype has been spotted undergoing testing in Palo Alto today. Recently, Elon Musk tweeted, I was just reviewing the production beta version of the Cybertruck. It's remarkable. This could be the prototype he was referring to, as a few updates have been made since he last mentioned it. Tesla's vice president of vehicle engineering recently stated, we've begun installation of the product equipment here in Giga Texas, including castings, GA, and body shops. We built all of our beta vehicles with a few more on the way in the next month, but as you said, the ramp will not begin until 2024. This latest prototype features a functional tonneau cover, which we have not seen on the previous few prototypes. This cover should be essential for the aerodynamics Tesla is aiming for with this Cybertruck. The largest change, however, is the introduction of new triangular side mirrors. These will be required on the Cybertruck when it ships, but it appears that Tesla will use a design that matches the rest of the truck, as opposed to the much larger mirrors that they were previously used. Tesla has a number of prototypes and plans to produce more throughout the month of February, so Cybertruck sightings are likely to increase dramatically. It will be interesting to see what changes we notice on each vehicle and what ultimately goes into production. Next up, today at Giga Shanghai, new reports indicate that Tesla plans to increase production even further in response to a surge in new orders. In the United States, Tesla's price cuts have been effective, with Elon Musk claiming that the company's current order rate is double their production capacity. The same appears to be occurring in China following price reductions. Tesla refuted rumors that it was slowing production at Giga Shanghai due to the lack of demand, but Reuters reports that the automaker's plans to produce a weekly average of nearly 20,000 units at its Shanghai factory in February and March. Tesla's price reductions in China could have something to do with this as could their price reductions in other export markets served by this factory. It appears that they intend to return to full capacity at this factory, while reportedly planning a new facility in Mexico. 
According to a representative of the Mexican government, Tesla will construct a manufacturing facility in Mexico City. Reportedly, this may be an additional factory in addition to the rumored Nuevo Leon factory. Officials predicted in December that Tesla would announce their new Nuevo Leon factory in the coming days, but this has yet to occur. It is unclear why this is the case, but Jesus Ramirez, a spokesman for the president of Mexico, stated Tesla will invest there in a factory to export directly by air. The government also confirmed that Tesla visited the site, which piqued its interest due to its proximity to the airport, being approximately three kilometers. If exporting by air, it is unclear what Tesla would be producing, given that they typically ship via rail and may maybe even ship via semi-trailer if Mexico City and Giga Texas are coordinated. As with the previous report, this is reported as a done deal, so we may have may hear soon that Tesla will open two new factories in Mexico, or we may not. Numerous automakers are expanding in Mexico for a variety of reasons, including the fact that the certain IRS EV tax requirements mandate only North American assembly. Tesla is an American-based company that may soon open a third international factory, but their major competitors are currently based in China. Since Tesla's price reductions have occurred on a global scale, we are now able to observe how this is affecting their chief competitors. After these price reductions, NIO, Liado, and Xpeng all experienced significant drops in monthly sales in January. In January, NIO delivered 8,506 vehicles, a 46.2% decrease from December 2022, and an 11.9% decrease from January 2022. Last month, Li Auto delivered 15,000 units, a decrease of 28.7% from the previous month and a decrease of 23.4% from the beginning of the year. Xpeng experienced the steepest decline in sales with a 53.8% drop compared to December and a 59.6% drop compared to January of last year. Keep in mind, January sales figures in China are typically lower due to the Lunar New Year, but analysts are convinced that Tesla is also to blame. In December, Tesla sales were down 44% compared to November, so their price cuts on January 6th had a significant effect. From January 9th to January 15th, the week following Tesla's price reductions in China, the automaker's sales increased by 76% to 12,654 vehicles. It appears that when Teslas are priced similarly to other options, the majority of people prefer them. At the same time, other EV startups are struggling in the United States. Currently, they're reducing costs throughout layoffs, but we've heard that Rivian may prioritize customers who ordered after their 20% price increase. On February 28th, when Rivian reported its earnings, we'll learn a great deal more about how this situation develops. There have been layoffs at a number of EV companies recently, including Tesla. Tesla experienced a wave of layoffs in 2022, but they now have confirmed that they employ approximately 128,000 individuals. If you configure a Model Y, you will notice that the estimated delivery window has shifted to March to mid-May 2023. The days of immediate Model Y delivery are over, and the trend of Teslas being sold out this year will continue. Currently, they are sold out for at least the month of February, indicating that their inventory is nearly depleted. This vehicle is the most popular and has the longest wait time. Soon, there may be a longer wait, but the good news is that the price must remain below 55000 to qualify the tax incentive. Due to new battery requirements, the Model Y may be delivered after the tax credit of 7500 is reduced by half. We must wait and see. In addition, supplier pressure could be a potential issue for Tesla and their pricing. Tesla's CFO stated on a recent earnings call that the company is attacking every cost area. Elon Musk added that, should a recession occur, substantial reductions in almost all of our input costs could result. He added, my message is that there will no, be no room there. Many suppliers are struggling financially. As always, I support all EVs, but it would be fascinating to see how this situation develops. Producing profitable EVs is an extraordinarily difficult task, and Tesla's price has ignited the global market. Well, that wraps up yet again a quite lengthy Tesla update. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you do, please drop a like, as it really helps out the channel. If you want to be notified when I upload videos similar to this one, consider subscribing. Thanks as always, guys. I hope you have a great day.